Welcome everyone, the regular season is in the books. The battle for the East begins. Round one, game one. Kevin Harlan here along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. And it's time for the State Farm starting lineups. Game one, first round. First for the Pacers, Collison is out there with Paul George. And Phil in the paint, it's the big man, Roy Hibbert. They look to him to provide that necessary presence down low. Then there's Danny Granger, and it's West in at the four-man position. And for Orlando, Nelson and Reddick are the guards. And it's Dwight Howard locking down the middle. He's a superstar, no doubt. And what a huge boost for this team, night in and night out. And it's Richardson, and it's Anderson in at the power forward. So important in a seven-game series to maintain the home court advantage. The fans, the players, the coaches, guys, they know it's all on the line. And home court advantage is what this team worked so hard to get over the course of the regular season. Now they need to put it to use. Oh, most definitely. I mean, they want to get out to a quick start, get the fans behind them, get the building rocking, try to create some doubt in their opponent, and um, let the other guys know just how hard it's going to be to deal with them. Start out with the ball. Now, here is Nelson, picked up by Collison. Howard, he's covered by Collison. Backing down is Howard. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. Chance for another point at the free throw line. Not stop. There's no way to stop that. I mean, there's nothing you can do when he's coming at him like that. Well, that's right, Clark. Uh, Steve, he is a dangerous, dangerous player. Yeah, especially when he gets to that launching pad right there in the lane. I mean, a pretty one-handed finish. That was nice. Free throw good, Howard. Poked away. Howard with the steal. I'm not sure what they're thinking offensively. Poor decision on that pass. Feeds to Granger. For the three. The shot's good. Collison making the play. Granger's got his first three points of the game. It's taken away by Collison. Anticipating that pass so well. Beautifully done. And stolen by Richardson. And stolen by Granger. So now that's twice we've seen the offense collapse. That's back-to-back -back empty trips because of turnover. Yeah, and that's going to be a problem because now all of a sudden you start turning the ball over. You lose all offensive rhythm and flow. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. This is Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with Coach Stan Van Gundy. I asked him about what his goals were coming into this game one, and he said, win at all costs. If we can't come out strong here, then everything we've worked for to get home court advantage at this point goes out the window. They don't want to see that, gentlemen. Always great to hear from you, Doris. From 17 feet out, and David West again. Talk about a great start. Three of three from the field to get the game going. They're cooking with gas, folks. Carlson against Nelson. Here's Rennick. He passes to Howard. Lock at six. He had his back to the basket for over five. That'll be a turnover. It's a couple of turnovers for him here in the early part of the quarter. He's going to have to tighten things up a little bit. Collison kicks to George. Jumps up. Collison dishes to Hibbert. Straight up. They shoot again. And David West again. West has got his third bucket of the night. Nelson with it. The dish to Howard. Takes it right up. The basket good off the assist from Nelson. He always gets the ball in the right spot down there, Kevin, because he excels at doing his work early and establishing that position inside. Collison kicks to Granger. The shot's good. Collison making the play. Collison's got three assists now in this one. Here's Howard. Goes up. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. 
It's going to be on David West. Nice time to use that foul to stop the layup. You know, if you can save just one point, that foul was the right move. No good on the free throw. And that's off as well, so he misses both. Pacers leading by four. Even numbers, four on four. Nelson with the steal. So a break. That's good. Nelson's got his second basket of the night. Here is Collison. Back to Granger over Richardson. A second chance effort, and he sails in for the layup. And at 4 or 5 now, a nice start. I mean, he looks ready to make an impact offensively. So far, so good. Ranger covering. Tipped away. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Here is Howard. He has five. Puts it up. Off the inbound. Missed inside. Yeah, trying to put a little mustard on the hot dog there. That, that was just, just convert the shot. Come on. Collison kicks to Granger. Shot from the wing. And again, it's Indiana converting. Right now, it's all working for him here in the first. The shots have been falling. Yeah, their offense has been very impressive. If they keep this up, Clark, they're going to be tough to beat. Reddick passes to Anderson. Richardson. And Granger picks him up defensively. Down to five on the shot clock. Great defensive work. Oh! Check it out here again with the Sprite Slam King. Now that's just rubbing it in, fellas. Throwing it down with style. Uh, these folks are not going to forget that one anytime soon. Here's Nelson. Cans it from downtown. Nelson's got eight points. And I think defensively, you've got to commit a second defender because he's just destroying you right now. Yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, he's been a handful. Leandro Barbosa, he's checked in for the Pacers. Pacers leading by five. Shot from the top of the key. Jason Richardson pulls it in. About seven and a half minutes left here in the first quarter. Reddick with the three. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Collison. And it's Nelson picking him up. Barbosa against Anderson. Hibbert jams it straight down. You know, you get better elevation with the one-hand dunk, and it's the most basic of all. Keep it simple. And probably the most reliable. Yeah, hard to mess that one up. Nelson, no luck. And Indiana has possession. They lead by seven. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Orlando. It's stolen. Three early turnovers for him here. I mean, he just does not look sharp out there, guys. Well, he better sharpen it up right now because he's on pace to have about a dozen turnovers when it's all said and done. He's covered by Collison. In building this lead, they've been excellent at, at not allowing any good second chances. Another miss by Orlando. Richardson, no luck. Pacers leading by seven. Barbosa kicks it to West. Shoots. And there's the rejection. Here's Orlando now. Seven point differential. Here's Barbosa. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Richardson cover. Barbosa gets the bucket. I like the way he attacked in this match, using his speed to get that shot off. Definitely, I agree. I mean, sometimes it forces you to be a bit more creative in that situation. Nelson, no luck. And here are the Pacers now. They're on a 17-7 run. And David West, the bucket on the assist by Collison. West has got 10. The Magic trail by 11. Here is Anderson. 
It's good from long range. You know, he's a rarity in the NBA, guys. A big man who can launch it from deep. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. They have done a great job of securing rebounds as they come in this game. Yeah, they have, Kevin. Well, they're blocking out and not waiting for the ball to come to them. I mean, that's what you got to do. I've talked about it countless times, guys. You can block out, but if you don't pursue the ball, you're not going to rebound. Here's Collison. Kicks to Hibbert. They're working it around. Granger backing him down. Goes right up. And Hibbert with the basket on the assist by Granger. Hibbert's got his second bucket of the night. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. You see, if I'm them, I'm, I keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything you can get in there. And here's the fast break. A three from Anderson. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. And now it's only a five-point pacer lead. And here comes Collison. Looking for his first bucket of the game. West kicks to Granger. Over Richardson. Offensive rebound. Goes back up. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. Hey, he saw that lean to the offensive glass, and that's how he cashed in. And here's Anderson from the arc. Leandro Barbosa with the rebound. Barbosa's got three rebounds now in this one. Reddick dishes to Anderson. Barbosa with the steal. Here's Collison. Shot to the Here's Howard. He lays it in with a size touch. Howard's got seven points. The defense left him just a little window to get through, and he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. Granger, Richardson cover. And stolen by Richardson. Turnover after turnover. We've got to do a better job taking care of the ball. And you make a good point, Steve. But despite that, somehow, they've still got the lead. But that certainly won't last if they continue to play this slot for First free throw is good. Indiana making some changes. Lewis Amundsen, who's checked in for Hibbert. And Tyler Hansbrough's subbed in for David West. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Barbosa. Under four minutes left to play in the first quarter. Timeout called the Pacers. I think Coach saw a couple of things he wanted to correct. You gotta make sure everyone's following the game plan. Here's Granger. Eight points for him. He dishes it to Barbosa. Beyond the arc. That drops. Barbosa's got five now. Kevin, they've been playing with an awful lot of energy here, getting a lot of offensive rebounds. That's always an indicator of hustle and energy. Here's Howard in for the dunk. He made sure everybody saw that slam, Kevin. Stayed on the rim for a little while extra. Maybe he wanted to give his legs a little rest there, partner. Collison up top. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Good. And the Pacers lead by six. I like the way they got the ball inside there. Nelson kicks to Anderson. From deep. Darren Collison pulls it in. He's usually a great three-ball shooter, but the defense disrupted him. Excellent work. He really got there to force that miss. Totally agree. He really influenced that release, didn't he? And you know, despite the number of turnovers, Kevin, they still got the lead here. Well, eventually, guys, you know those mistakes will come back and haunt you, so they've got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. And the offensive rebounds leading to second chance points. Yep, Kevin, and they have six in this quarter. And you know what? That's always a good sign in terms of a team that's focused and energetic. I mean, when you can get to that offensive glass, you're doing some work. Boy, Magic having lots of trouble defending against Granger. He already has eight points and a couple of nice steals, too. Coming out and starting this one big so far. 
Now you can tell how motivated he is to play well today. Here is Nelson. Ten points for him. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Frazier's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Collison. Orlando grabs the miss. And here's Richardson. Gets it to fall. Richardson's got eight points. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. He was just a hair away from making that steal. Steve, I like the instincts there. Terrific. To see the pass coming and knock it away, well done. Indiana leading. Stripped away. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Let it pass it to Nelson. That's not what they needed there, that's for sure. the magic with the ball trailing by two back and down is Howard puts it up and count it two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line and all ten of their last points have come inside the paint so defensively you've got to make an adjustment yeah and you got to do a little more to stop it too I mean it's coming way too easy for them at some points you just got to buck up and say it's not going to happen Collison dishes to Barbosa. There's a minute 40 left to play in the first. Collison against Nelson. The feed to Howard. Can't connect. Well, they have come out of the gates with purpose and focus, just gobbling up each and every rebound. Man, Clark, they have really asserted themselves on the glass. We'll see if they can keep the... Oh! Come on, man. I didn't see... Can you believe that <laughs> finish? Boy, a little bit of flair and flavor at the end of... Oh, that'll be a fan favorite, yeah, all right. That was not your average typical dunk. Here's Collison. Looking for his first bucket of the game. And it's Nelson picking him up. Collison kicks to Amundsen. Look how well he led him there with that pass. Here's Nelson. They lead by one. This is to Anderson. Richardson against Granger. Out to Nelson. It's taken away by Collison. Very nice. He planted himself in the path of the inside-out pass and Pilford. And the pass to hands. Go. Back to Collison. Over Howard. And there's Jaron Collison on the assist from Hansbrook. You look at how they've been scoring the basketball, and it's really fun to watch them because all the baskets are coming off assist. Well, keep that in mind. I mean, they're a much more efficient team when they make that extra pass. When they get in trouble, it's when they're taking quick shots. Richardson, good. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Give and take back and forth the whole way thus far. Yeah, six lead changes already, and as Rasheed Wallace once said, both teams playing hard, my man. Granger backing him down. A fader. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. That's on Dwight Howard. Got just enough of him on the way out to draw that whistle. I thought that was a good call, Steve. I mean, you could see how that affected his shot just a little bit. He doesn't get the second one. Here's Nelson. Can't get it to go. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. Magic lead by one. It was a pretty solid first quarter. 